When Sean Gordon Murphy had his Zorro campaign out, he went on the channel Comics by Perch, and on there he slipped a couple of times that he is all in on the woke SJW agenda. I tried to warn some folk back then. I got a lot of heat in the comments. They're being like, oh, Sean Gordon Murphy's not one of them. He's a centrist and blah, 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 blah. Well, if you listen to the actual interview, he gave his little clues. He dropped them in between things as Comics by Perch and him tried to downplay the fact that, like, Woke is destroying the comic book industry. Both of them said that, oh, that's not the big deal here, actually. Uh, and then Sean Gordon Murphy went into some weird stuff. Uh, he said he had a lot in common with Heather Antos politically. He said he's really on her level. And then he revealed that this comic was going to be something completely different than what you expected from Zorro. Zorro, you expect to be Don Diego going out there swashbuckling against uh, the government and uh, against uh, evil corrupt people and of course against thieves and things like that as he tries to of course just maintain peace and uh, be a good vigilante it's kind of like the premise Batman was based around right kind of the same character uh, but set in 1800s uh, Spanish California Sean Gordon Murphy wanted to do something completely different. One, he said it in modern times, and so this is something that, like, he wanted to, uh, you know, bring it to modern audiences right away. Number two, he revealed in that interview that he said the main character is not actually Zorro. It's his sister. Uh, and uh, he's, he actually mentioned, and he said it by name, He said, and he said the weird thing here, which was the main character happens to be a lesbian. It's not woke. It's that, you know, it's just she happens to be one. It's like, wait a minute. You're just putting a character who's not Zorro as the main character, who's a woman, who's a strong female lead, who then happens to be a lesbian. You're checking all the boxes. That's the whole point. Like, And, of course, it gets way, way worse in the comic. Now, I showed last month uh, exactly how bad issue number one went. Uh, with the lesbianism and, of course, even uh, like uh, his heretical stuff about Christianity in it. If you haven't seen that video, you can go find that on the channel here. Just look up Sean Gordon Murphy's Zorro. But issue number two has come out now. I've got the uh, backer PDF, and uh, I can show you exactly where this is going and where this is leading to a point where it's worse than you might have thought. My name is John Delarose. I'm a number one best-selling author and award-winning comic creator. If this is put a chick in it and make it lame and gay, I am putting a dude in it and making it straight. That's kind of like my goal here in comics. We are doing something completely different here. And I have a book, All Eyes on Ashley. This is going to be uh, only two more days left, 50 hours left to go on this campaign. And of course, I would like you to get in on this book before it's gone. Uh, I'm going to surprise you with this. And uh, this is not woke. It's anti-woke. Uh, it is actually good. It's masculine, believe it or not. Uh, and so you can check this out. And I hope you'll enjoy this story. And I would love for people who didn't like get spoiled or anything like that to message me after this comes out and be like, wow, this is not what I expected in a good way. Um, and so please check this out. Beautiful art, a wonderful, like, uh, aspirational story that you'll absolutely enjoy. I don't have the main character who's crazy or anything like that as a, quote, twist. Uh, this is something that is wholesome that you'll uh, absolutely love. I'll put that link in the description below. Thank you guys for backing, coming in, and supporting this so far. All right. So as I mentioned before, the original uh, issue of Sean Gordon Murphy's Man of the Dead, Zorro here, uh, opened up making it look like it was a Zorro book. But it turned out this guy was just an actor in a suit, and it had nothing to do with the character uh, that was shown in the preview images. It actually became all about this lesbian chick right here, who this uh, this priest, uh, you know, basically said her whole deal is totally fine by the Catholic Church. She doesn't even have to confess uh, that she is fornicating with another woman. Uh, absolutely crazy. Uh, ab absolutely a slight in the face of the church. But, you know, this guy wrote that, like, punk rock Jesus uh, thing, which was a total blasphemy. Uh, you could tell he doesn't like Christians and doesn't like Christianity and all of his work. Uh, and that is something, of course, that permeates throughout the mainstream industry. Now, Zorro only appeared for, like, a, a couple of pages in this book, or at least the character who is Zorro in this book. And the, the twist of all this is that uh, her brother went crazy because their dad got killed when they were little, and uh, he thinks he's Zorro. He's really not Zorro, but he thinks he's Zorro, and she has to, like, keep him safe as the strong female lead. Now, she's working for the cartel, and uh, she doesn't like working for the cartel. She knows they're bad, uh, and her brother's going out to go get revenge on the cartel, and she is, like, going, like, oh, my God, oh, this is going to go horrible. So uh, that was it for issue one. 
And I got a lot of hate comments on this sort of thing going like, oh, yeah, it's not as bad as you said. Uh. It totally is. I mean, you can see in the panel right here exactly how bad it is. And again, Zoro only peer appeared in a couple pages of it. And uh, it's just towards the end where she's like, why are you wearing that costume? Well, issue number two picks up where that left off. And as far as like the token lesbianism, never gets referenced again. He literally just put this in here as a virtue signal. She is not, uh, doesn't engage in anything like that in this next issue. It has nothing to do with that. It's not sensitive central to the plot it's not central to the character he literally put her in as a lesbian for the virtue signal and of course attack the church here for the virtue signal issue two now Zoro is actually going out and uh and uh trying to uh go after the cartel now he's doing so on a horse with a sword in modern times looking like a retard and here she is you see she's just nagging him she's a nagger n-a-g-g-e-r uh, for the censors out there Diego, where the hell are you going? Why the hell are you talking like that? Uh, and this entire time, she just nags him uh, in this whole issue uh, about not wanting to go out now and and, uh, and do this. As you can see, uh, she goes further. Do you understand what kind of danger we're in? Well, she's going to have to save him when he does something stupid. Uh, and then he's just absolutely crazy, as, as we find out here. It's all about her. It's from her perspective. It's about the strong female lead. Diego, listen to me. I don't know what Alejandro has been telling you, but it's not the 1800s. You're not a Cape Crusaders. El Rojo has an army, which is why we need to flee. Diego, you don't understand. We're getting into my car and getting the hell out of here. And uh, so he's crazy. And of course, he actually invokes God is calling on us. God has given me the will. And, uh, and of course, it's him being a nut job. So she's going to have to eventually save him because he's going out and he's attacking the cartel with his horse and sword, uh, which makes no sense whatsoever. And then uh, she, of course, is going to have to deal with that. Now, it's revealed later on there's like this like uh, uh, foreign American agent who's hunting down the cartel as well. He wants to work with her and her brother uh, in order to take them down. And uh, she, of course, tries to cut her brother out of it. It's all about her. And there's a lot of it's just a lot of talking scenes of set up for the next issue where he's going to go off anyway uh at, at the end of it he starts uh gathering up some of the townsfolk behind him to kind of go back against the cartel and uh, he's going to get himself in and you know there's real really no big action scenes in this issue either i'm just going to leave it at this and not show the whole thing but uh there's really nothing to it that zoro's it's all going to be her and her having to fix things at the end of the day so when this goes further with her in the next issues obviously the plot point's going to end up being that she has to rescue him you know in the strong female lead subverted archetype uh, where uh, he gets himself into trouble and then she ends up being the hero because this is a bait and switch put a chicken in and make it gay book again my gosh uh how sick of this are we on every single level sean gordon murphy is a full-on sjw uh, if you didn't know he love bombed mags in order to try to of course get clout within the industry like he he says he's in line with heather antos this is what the zorro backers are getting it's not zorro it's lesbian chick uh, with a crazy guy who thinks he's Zorro and she's trying to save him. Oof. Leave a comment down below with what you think about this, my friends. Hit that like and subscribe button. Try something different than the mainstream comics right here. All eyes on Ashley on Kickstarter. Really appreciate you for being there and appreciate you back in the books. We'll see you soon.